to drinking bro ats. Absolutely. Look, it's a it's a group affili- it's affiliated with the drinking bros. Mm-hmm. Bunch of girls in there. Girls. We are here. And we're, we're here to stay. We're here to stay. We're here for you. We're on the set of the drinking bros. I know you know. Yeah. Watch live. Watch on YouTube. I know you can tell that we're on the drinking bros set because this is what happened. We said, hey, okay, you want us to you want to do a show? We want to do a show together. We just, need our own set. We need a set. Just kind of like get that together. You guys got this, right? No. What happened was what? They failed us. Nothing. 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 Because if you want something done. You got to do it yourself. You got to do it yourself. Yeah. And that's what we're doing, okay? <laughs> that is what we're doing. <laughs> Listen, women. I know. Well, speaking of women. Yeah, Jesse Jessie Wiseman here. Yes. Oh. And this is Tiffany Hart. Hi, We guys. are the drinking broettes. Look, what are we here? I mean, I think there's a need. Mm-hmm. There's a need for this show. I've been going to a lot of these meetups with the Drinking Bros. I've been working with them for a while, doing Ross Patterson Revolution. And we have 94% dudes that listen. That's a lot of sausages. It's a lot of sausage. It is. <laughs> and <laughs> But more and more I'm seeing women come out, mm-hmm. wives come out, girls that are super into the shows. But they would love to hear more about things that they want to talk about. Oh, I can only imagine. Right? Well, it's funny because the times that I have been on this show, um, I will have some of my girlfriends who will repost on Instagram or somewhere. Yeah. Hey, I'm listening to like Tiffany right now. And I'm like thinking to myself, I didn't know you listened to this. Yeah, exactly. And to me, I kind of feel like that's awesome. They hear a different side of me. They hear like my bro side with the dudes, but I love for them to hear kind of like who I am yeah. and who they see me on social media too and who they've met. Yeah. And I think that's important to say is that we... We do hang out with the guys, but mm-hmm. we don't consider ourselves one of the guys. We yeah. have a lot of girlfriends. Absolutely. We would rather hang, hang out with the girls. With girls, <laughs> let's be real. Estrogen. But look, it's a man's world. And I'm fine <sighs> with it. We're also yeah. anti-feminist, which is means we we think that things can move forward if we all work together. Mm-hmm. We don't need to have all girls doing something or all guys doing something. We yeah. can, in order to make a harmonious awesome business for example we need both absolutely we're both good at different Different things things. i was gonna say that's why i tell people all the time especially when it comes to you know females going into different jobs and stuff like that i'm like listen we all have our strengths and we have our weaknesses yes might as well utilize them as best we can together yes instead of us trying to be good at something that we kind of, I mean, most of us really are, might, might be good you, at You, this will be a good segue for you. You are an exception. But I think mm. for the most part, mm-hmm. women cannot do everything that men can do and vice versa, right? Sure. For the most part. But there is exceptions. Mm-hmm. For example. I, me, and my, <laughs> no, me and my background? No, I know this makes you uncomfortable. It's going to make me <laughs> yeah, super no, uncomfortable. But I just hate, bra- like, you know how you, sometimes when you talk about yourself, you feel like you're bragging? We were taught as kids. I know. Um, if you know my husband, Ross Patterson, he was not taught that um, as a child. Oh, I can see that, yeah. But yeah. Mm-hmm. I was, and it seems like you were taught, like, not to brag. Correct. Like, bragging was, like, a huge no-no, right? It's, like, let your actions speak for themselves, yes. is what my parents always told me. And then there's, like, this um, saying, it's, like, um, silent professional, like, yes, in the military. Yes, You know what I mean? I like that. Yeah. But, um, but no, you're right. It, it's probably good for at least the viewers to get to know. Who yeah, we yeah. We just want to let you know why the fuck you should listen to us. Sure. Um, if you want to. And by the way, the beauty of internet, if you don't like us, you, you can don't just have to. like minimize and and not watch. Yeah. Press like hide. So we actually don't need you to like make a big Fuss. um announcement that you're not gonna watch us. That would be great. Because if only all a- of society knew this. Yeah. You know, you know like, this, this is just a really this is like Hey, let me teach you something new. Yeah. If you don't like something, just move on. Yeah. Don't, you don't say need to do a big it. press conference about canceling me or unfollowing me. Correct. You could literally just do it mm-hmm. and move on with your day. That's and a good start slogan. following. Just do it. Just, just do so it. Someone came up with that before. You guys, should we use that for something? Just I don't know. do it. Just do it. I like it. Yeah. Anyways. What's up with you? Why are you amazing? Why are you a badass? Well, amazing, Which is but things that I'm saying about you. Uh, thank you. Which is why you're here. 
But what do you do? What's your what's your deal? So my background is I've been an Air Force Seer Specialist for the last 12 years. She's I feel like I'm aging myself here. That sounds so awesome. And SEER is an acronym in the military. It stands for Survival, Evasion, Resistance, and Escape. Basically, I teach like our ground guys and air crew, anyone who's high risk of capture to survive anywhere in the world, evade capture anywhere in the world, resist interrogations. So, you know, us women are really good interrogators. <laughs> so that was really easy for me. Um, and then... Was it? It was. Okay. Like, yeah. women are so much better at interrogation than when it comes to men. And that's one of our strengths, too. Um, and then like escape. That. How to escape out of basically anything you could possibly be put into. Ugh. <laughs> microphone and can't get away from right the microphone there. Right cannot there cannot get away face. from the microphone no. but yeah um so amongst other things we also are you know we have survival skills and like parachuting and stuff like that anything that our students that go through our training would be put into of course like jumping out of planes or ejecting out of a plane we do ourselves so you know with my history in our career field I was the first female to graduate in eight years. So that was like a, a big deal yeah, because dude. it was one of the few they call like special warfare jobs in the military that would allow women back in 2006, 2007 when was, I tried for it. Yeah, yeah. So it was that was a big deal, which sadly I don't feel like it should have been because there were so many females out there who were capable of making it. Sadly, it was just the physical aspects of it you have to do a pt test the same right. and like we have the same where we kind of right and that, that was my problem we have the same standards as all the guys so if the guys had to do 10 pull-ups minimum for their test to pass i had to do 10 pull-ups minimum do you think that's a problem or do you think that's just no i think that's a good thing that's to have. a good thing i right? I, I personally feel but it like it weeds out people in the military across the board or any of these specialized jobs especially like you have to have an even playing field right that's just me um so you that was to fine. count on each other you Absolutely. all have to be able to do they don't want two people to no. have to do your job where it's like lift something for you or anything like Correct. that. Correct. Right? If I... And if, that's across the board with any job. I Go agree. ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the guys were going to be expected to carry 120 pounds on their back and rocket through nine to. feet of snow, they wanted me to do the same thing. Right. Without having to worry like, do we have to worry about Tiffany? Do we have to carry her along? Yeah, yeah, Because what's going to happen later on is I'm going to be an instructor running a crew of like all officers essentially who all outrank me. And I'm going to be running them through all this stuff and have to be competent, and then, of course, professional still, yeah. but kind of get in their ass when it comes to, like, hey, sir, no, you can't do A, B, and C, and then them see me doing it by example. Yeah. So that was, like, one of the things that was, like, a big feat, kind of, like, yeah. hey, eight years, big deal. Right um, and then I never even found this out until much later on, um, which is weird. And so what I tell people all the time is if you're going to do something, do it because you have a passion for it and because you love it. Right. Right. Don't do it to be the first person to do it, like, ever. Because to me, like, that's, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the wrong reason. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so um, I never knew, like, what girls had done what in our career field so far. You so just were doing I what? I was just doing it. I want, just yeah, yeah, wanted yeah. to be equal amongst yeah, all yeah, the guys yeah. and get a deployment to Afghanistan like them all. And so yeah. finally when I did, when I got back, they're like, you know, like, you were the first girl to deploy to Afghanistan to a war zone area for steer. Like, that's why they made a big deal about it. That's why they didn't want to give it to me for a while. And so I was kind of like, okay. Like, that's cool, but hopefully, like, that's not the end of it. Hopefully, that was the start of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then, uh, so we jump out of planes. Beautiful. And, uh, you know, there's other things, like, um, I was, like, the, one of the first females to get a fully qualified jump master and be a test parachutist. And, you know, these are all things that you hear later on, and you're like, that's awesome. Like, part of me is like, that's really cool. Yeah. But at the same time, I was like, that's kind of sad. Because I, there was many females before me. I was like, I wish there was, you know... Something that was offered to them or are they had oppo there opportunities. Are there more coming up after you? You know. Are you kind of like pay paving a way, which is such a. I didn't mean to pave a way, but I guess I kind of, in a sense, am. I'm hoping that like once they saw like these new females that are hopefully going to come in and they see what I've been able to do, they're like, okay, well, I want to do that too. Yeah. And they don't take no for an answer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So no, after me, we had four graduate and two of them got out. So we only have three in right now in the entire air force it's fucking crazy so talk about like the minority of the minorities you know there but fall in love with you more and more <laughs> every day another thing that happened today that made me just love you is what? you pulled up to the office oh god 
Look, nothing's off limits, right? No, no, <laughs> nothing is off limits. I'm very open. I'm an open book. So you were like, and this is, I just, I'm going to like. I'm very open. things that, first of all, you're a badass, right? Though. Thank you. And then I don't when think you pulled so, up but... to the office, you're like, my Airbnb is really gross and the bathroom shitty. So I'm holding my poop. I was literally. So, so can I dump out in your um, office? Office. Bathroom. Yeah, that's legit happened. And I was happened. like, yeah, obviously. I told all, all the guys to give you a minute. I'm so glad you told all the dudes to let me shit in peace. <laughs> right, though? Because even though you do talk about it, you also don't want to fucking no, destroy a bathroom and have someone walk in there. At, you know what By I'm the saying? way, you guys you need like a poopery want... spray in there or something. So. Oh, for sure we do. Oh, for sure. With all these, With guys? All these guys? That's what I'm saying. Well, the, you know Girls the problem with guys, Airbnb is it's older. Got okay. It. So, it, like, the, all of a sudden, like, I went to the bathroom super late last night and it didn't flush. I was like, ooh, oh, maybe I'll work in the morning. And it didn't. And it didn't. So I had to pour more water in the back of it. And I was like, and I'm just guessing. Like, I was about to Google and then I was going to text my husband, but I was like, no, I'm an Dude, independent no. woman. I'm not to and, find my man. <laughs> no. And then I was like, I think this is the right thing. It's not my house. So, it right. flows. I'm like, Gosh, and we really so, could have used a man right then, huh? Yeah, right. Gosh, I know. Hey, honey. hey, honey. Oh, my God. I saw the funniest meme the other day. It was like, what did it say? It was like, I want us, us women to be equal to men. And the lady looks outside and she's she sees her husband, like, shoveling, like, nine feet of snow in the car. She was like, maybe I'll worry about that in the yep. summer. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But that's what we're saying. It's yeah. like, you know, we will do certain things. But Absolutely. gosh. But Isn't listen, it great. Enough about just me. Do, yeah. I oh. want to know more about you, though. Gosh. So, because how'd you get into podcasts and stuff like this? So I'm just obsessed with podcasts, uh-huh. basically. And always have been. I've been diehard. Mark Marin, Joe Rogan, Bill Burr was actually like one of the first as well. Yeah. Stuff you should know. So I was obsessed with this um, medium. And it was so underutilized at the time when I was listening to it. Um. There was not a lot of ads on it. No one really knew what it was. Do you remember when people said they had a podcast and you're like, <laughs> cute. Yeah. Cool. Uh, cool. I still think people are still kind of like that to this day. They are. Because they don't know about it that exactly. much. Exactly. There are like people in my neighborhood, like moms in my neighborhood, mm-hmm. that do not know where the app is sure. on the phone. But the amount of money and the amount of listeners that you can get on podcasts is insane and advertisers are starting to realize now so we got in with drinking bros early on at my uh you know suggestion oh. look it was my idea whatever so they got into that's it. awesome yes yeah, so they got into it early at my pushing basically they kind of had an idea but they weren't really getting together getting it together as you know it's hard to just get everyone together to be consistent, mm-hmm. to be in the same place, to be on the same page. It's like starting a band. Yeah, you're I'm like, sure you're it's hard with re- that group too. Yeah, yeah, with that group and with anyone at this point because you're basically saying we're going to rehearse in a garage mm-hmm. for a year probably. And then I promise we'll make money, but you just got to like stick with it, right? Yeah. So it's hard to get people really on board with that. But um, what the other thing I loved about it is you can say whatever the fuck you want. And more and more, like with TV and everyone getting canceled in cancel culture, it's the last kind of place Mm -hmm. where you feel like you can yourself. Yeah, you can be honest. You can talk about things literally the way that you feel about them. And you don't have to worry about curbing yourself for now. Obviously, once people start getting hip to podcasts, they're going to start canceling people, right? But you think that's why people like podcasts so much? I think. And why they listen so And that's why I did. Yeah. Because you feel like you're hanging out with people that are real, right? Yes. We can say whatever we want. We can mess up. We can say the wrong word. We don't have to edit it out. Mm -hmm. We can be in a bad mood. We can be in a good mood. Like people want to Speak without a filter. Yeah. Like the meme that really speaks to me about it is there's this billboard of these people laughing and eating ice cream. And then there's this guy at the bottom, like on the ground, looking up at the billboard, like eating Eating the ice ice cream cream. and laughing too. And that's sort of like what podcasts are, right? Like you're listening to a conversation, but you're 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 in it, it. right? And I talk back to podcasts sometimes too. I'll be like, right? I'm like, no exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't agree with that. So I love it. And then I'm just a, a weirdo. I was an actress, hairstylist, bartender, 
waitress. And you did it all. Yeah. I did everything. I feel like that's an American dream kind of, right? Like, Well, it's an L.A. thing. So I'm a big city girl okay. trying to make it in a small town is oh, basically what it is. Small town girl. Right? I'm the opposite, though. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm from L.A. and I'm trying to, like, make it in Wilmington, right? Like, oh, make it happen. Make yeah. it work. Like, make things go. And people are like, dude. We're by the beach. Like, what's the problem? Like, why are you trying to work so much, right? I'm like, bro, <laughs> let's we got surf. stuff to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like murder. Not murder. Like, mur murder movies? Like, are you... I like the idea of going on the journey of solving. Oh. On, you know, cold cases, solving murders, like, going on that so journey. So you probably like that next Netflix series. Who was on that guy, Making a Murder? I like Making of a Murder. Because that was that popular was for a while. Oh, was it? So he's actually guilty, but the little uh You think they purposely twist it to where to make yeah. him look innocent? Yeah. Oh. Um I think so. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did watch it, but I was left so confused. Exactly. Which is perfect, which is what they wanted. Yeah. Right? And same with staircase. Which, which made people want more. Yes. Because the guy's seen staircase. You just have one side of the story. So they're getting in a little bit of trouble. It's for kind that. of propaganda in a way. Yeah. When you think about it. Yeah. Just like the news. <laughs> it was their lawyers that were like, let's make a... Do you know what I mean? I can see like, that because what you do is you take yes. certain aspects. It's, it's the same thing as like when you have someone tell their side of the story. Yeah. Right? And they always talk about... Well, you always say, well, there's two sides of the story and then there's the truth. Yeah. Because that's the same exactly. thing. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So that's sort of what they did there. I like to see justice being served. Mm. I like a lot of justice. You should have been a lawyer. I know. Gosh, My husband tells me that all the time. Well, because I'm a good, I good, I'm good at arguing. <laughs> yeah. Well, what I, what I, I think might be our slogan is we may not be the prettiest girls in the room, but we're also not the smartest, right? Mm -hmm. so, True. <laughs> we're not going to be lawyers. Like, give me no. a fucking break. No, like, no, no way. Gonna go to well, fucking law school. I, I gotta be honest. I don't want to go through all that school. No. No fucking joke. I just don't. We're not super my smart. Buddy, like one of my best friends who went through SEER training with me. Yeah super smart like this guy would like just peep into a book and the next day get like 100 percent of the test where i would be like studying my ass yeah. off all night yeah. long and get like a 90 right right and he went to law school recently and i gotta admit i was a little bit jealous at first because sure. he did his internship right and he was getting 20 grand a month sure to intern and i'm and because he was like talking about this trip to like ibiza or something like that yeah. and i was oh, like well ibiza? how much did it cost yeah <laughs> yeah and he was like <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, um, I don't remember. I was like, what do you do? How do, how do you not know how much it costs? He's like, because I, I don't remember. Yeah, because he just how nice. he has so much money. That I was like, oh, wonderful. But now, homeboy mm -hmm. is so busy. Yep. That like, we can't even have a phone conversation. No. Because he charges like, you, probably, right? <laughs> he's uh, like, you're on the clock. Tiffany, this is $25. Yeah. Oh, no, it's insane. Oh, it is insane. Like, but having a friend, lawyer, keep I know. that guy. Oh, no, like, believe me, because I've already asked yeah, him for yeah, Like, yeah, that's yeah. why I asked him for some help. I was like, hey, I Absolutely. miss you, by the way. If you can give me a little bit of advice. And he was like, yeah. He's like, sorry, I'm dealing with some cybersecurity thing. And I'm like, oh, that sounds. Yeah, you're like, gross. So boring. When people always <laughs> say, like, I'm good at arguing. I should have been a lawyer. You're like, that's not. Listen, dumb dumb. That's what dumb. I try to tell my husband. Listen up, dumb dumb. <laughs> You're not going to be a lawyer just because you can argue. arguing, right? Yeah, you, you have to do... know all like the statutories <laughs> of the point blank to oh, blank. I, I don't know. I my hair <laughs> choked. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost killed myself with my this hair. This is why you have to be really careful of hair. Oh my gosh, I I inhaled this piece. You know what? And it went all the way down to here. I'm really sorry. And you Sessing were talking. Your gag <laughs> I know it's usually really good but not with hair not, not with hair not with hair i gotta admit though something that's really gross i don't know if you did it when you're younger please i used to chew on my hair um you know what i'm saying like when you're yeah, younger yep i don't know what that weird thing was i for think a everybody did that for a second there's but some people that carry it on on it for that still do it as yeah, adults I, oh with all that kind of stuff right nail biting you know adults that okay nail bite. well Get it together. That they probably own rabbits too. More, I had a pet rabbit. Oh my gosh, me too. When I was younger, though, when I was yeah, younger, I don't have it like in my terrarium oh, right okay. now. Yeah. Like, no. Is that a bad thing when you're a young kid? No, no. But they were. Mine was violent. Did yours get violent? No. Was it a bunny? Okay, so mine was like a bigger rabbit. Was yours? Wait, I have a theory on this because I've killed so many rabbits because of seer training. I know. That's right. I know. Um, was it a white rabbit with red eyes? Um. I don't know if it's white. It was like white and brown. Oh, okay. But like very white, but it did have like brown spots on it too. Oh, okay. So I do remember red eyes. 
then that's why those are the those i'm not even kidding those are, are they like, just like built in with those, rabies or yeah, something they were like possessed those are the only ones who ever screamed when we've killed them like i mean i'm talking bloody murder like this is too much this is too much for no me. it's yeah. crazy that's... and those are the only ones who ever like attacked like and just like so may, they just may have like a rabies gene i they have some in. type of psycho so gene. when we would pick them up they have really strong like back, oh and, yeah like scrape you up oh yeah so it we definitely you know we got out of the rabbit game as yeah. far as like a domesticated thing but. dude i swear i went to, i would go to school and teachers would probably think like as a young kid i was cutting myself when really it was just rabbit yeah. scratches rabbit scratches own. well mine was cute mine was a little dwarf rabbit okay well that's anything dwarf he I'll, was I'll take super it. cute no joke i potty trained the dude i'm not even kidding he went in the toilet he would only no but he would only in go like in his, his cage okay yeah um he had seizures all the time like, it was such a scary thing when I was, like, a little kid. You know what I mean? So, like, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, and he'd be having a seizure. So, like, go and grab it, and I would just try to hold it and just, like, let it know I was there for it. Oh my and gosh. that's the only reason why I ever had scratches on me. I have a good – I have a good – I used to have gerbils as well. Do they have seizures? No. Oh. <laughs> but I have kind of a good weird story that will be an insight into me and my family, Ooh, which will be fun. Yeah. Let's do sponsors first. I also oh, yeah, want to yeah. get into – um. What we'll talk about after the sponsors, uh, I was thinking maybe I wanted to try a butt plug, wanted to get your thoughts or experience on that. And then oh, we definitely I have, a, <laughs> and then I have you a know story. What I like? <laughs> so when I was thinking about talking to you, it's our first show. Yeah, yeah. We've hung out a good amount of time, but like we are going to be like getting to know each other, yeah. but you're awesome. So, and, so super, you? pre- and super pretty. You're so, a babe. <laughs> like really pretty. <laughs> really really pretty so and then um I wanted to talk about I was thinking like what weird dates or whatever but I had this guy in Ojai where I grew up we called him the nature pimp and there's a good story behind that I feel like before we need to talk about any of this I need booze <laughs> I know do you need some booze what let's go let's go second sponsor on that you you yeah. take that I'm gonna take this we're gonna go first sponsor we have is ghost bed of course yeah. they have been supporting all of our endeavors here at Tetherball Academy with Drinking Bros for a while. They're just the best in the biz. Ghostbed.com forward slash Drinking Bros um, to get all of your bed needs. Now, let's talk about the bed in your Airbnb right now. How bad do you want a ghost no, bed? No, it's pretty it? bad. That's it's pretty bad, another right? reason. So I know Dan has a ghost bed at his place. Of course. He has and one he for was, his dog, I yeah. think. Yeah. And he was like, hey, when you come out here next, like you and your husband can sleep in the bed. Yeah. So I'm like really hoping, you know what I mean? Yes. Like to sleep. And in you're going to need to now that you're part of the crew, we're going to have to give a call to go. You're going to need to try this bed yeah. because you will then purchase. And they're not really expensive. They As, yeah. do payment plans of like ends up being $36 a month. Like That's not bad at all. Yeah. And for a uh, military and first responder, they give... I said, I know they get a good discount. Yeah. At least the source. I mean, what is we're it, always Jamie? appreciative of like a discount. 15%? 20%? Yeah, for um, first responders. Uh, 15% for a number Yeah. And um, for everyone else, they have, like, deals going on all the time. They had Cyber Monday. Sorry. It's definitely You know passed, they're going to have more they sales always, between. always have yeah. something going on. They have this, like, spinning wheel thing if you first go to the site. And you can, like spin the wheel and like win some kind of deal so they're an awesome company and they really support uh our community which is mostly military first responders and then a couple of uh dum-dums like me civilians that um (laughs) you can get good deals as well so that's awesome go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros it is drinking bros it's going to be drinking bros for both shows all three shows only because it's just easier, easier to keep one instead of doing different names yeah I don't, eventually yeah. we'll do some drinking broette specific sponsors but for now listen bitch this is what you fucking get yeah 15 percent. yeah 15 there we 15. go that's good off like a very well-priced bed anyways pretty awesome next sponsor is luke Blair, should we pop these? Dude. Ooh, no, this one says. Does your say drinking bros? Yeah, don't. Pop I don't the know if we one. should drink the this drinking is bros the one, one that but... you guys gave me for my birthday, the rosé one. No joke. Dude. I got home and I was like, babe, like I know that you give wine to like our neighbors and stuff sometimes, but I swear if you give anyone this bottle, 
dude, it's you over. You said mom. You said sister. Like, I don't care who it is. I don't care who I it is. I will kill them. I will. So I have this waiting for like a special occasion because I, I don't know. But the one that we had here, the gold one, delicious. Delicious. I've been taking it to, it's Luke Blair, uh, L U C B L B E L A I R E dot com forward slash drinking bros. Um, I've been taking them to the holiday parties in the neighborhood, yeah. and literally, even people that don't like champagne are like, oh, "Okay, I'll try a little," and then they're like, "Dude, like you can actually sip it." You know, there's a lot of champagnes. Any other that you bring, kind of dry. No, You're yes. like, "Oh, this is a special occasion. I'll have a little bit." These. Low calorie. Champagne is the best thing if you are trying to cut calories to drink. I was saying, That's why you a, see all the high good, quick house waves. Yep. Champers. Drink. Yes. So, and these are easy to drink. They're kind of wine-like. Yeah. So that's why I thought a little good. bit like. They're awesome and really good product and they're really sweet over there at Luke Belair. Listen, you can never go wrong with champagne. No. Sh- are are you do you, you're saying you need some? No, I'm just saying. Period. Like, okay, we need some. We need some alcohol. Definitely. We will once we yeah. Once we get into this, I think we're gonna have to have a sign a sig drink. Absolutely. On our on our desk at all times. That would make it. That would make for a very interesting podcast. Yes. No, it'll be awesome. Because everyone I feel likes like drunk girls I have talking. Like no filter for the most part. But when I'm drunk, yeah, zero, zero. I yeah. think the first, like, after the first drink, you and I started talking about rabbit holes that we went down in, yeah. on porn. Pornhub. Oh, yeah, videos. we did. Yeah. yeah. Last because time. why not? I know. Just flips a switch. <laughs> Wait, so what was this butt plug thing? Oh, no. I was thinking I've been, you know, I'm thinking maybe I want to try one. Maybe a small one. Like Have you. Whip Ross? Yeah. I, and I, technically a butt plug right right plug. like yeah, butt yeah, yeah. stuff butt stuff for sure but with I, the, like a, maybe with like a more. finger being in there but yeah right, right so i know a buddy who um him and his wife like he would brag about her all the time and he'd be like dude like i love this woman i put in like a butt plug and it was like apparently a butt plug with a uh, like a horse tail on it. Yeah, yeah. And they both were obsessed with the horses, so I think it was like a weird kinky animal thing too. See, now I'm starting like, to turn, starting to turn and not want to like, do uh, this. But yeah, but yeah, he yeah. Would, he would put the buck plug again and she would basically have a tail. Yeah. Like with the buck they plug. They have like a squirrel one. That one's kind of cute. I'm sure if you started off small, yeah, it would be fine. Right? You know, I think that's the biggest thing where people either do it wrong. But either, you've never done it. No, I haven't. I've been, I know um, anal beads, like we've thought about it before. Right. But I've heard like horror, 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 horror stories, stories about pulling them out too quick. And like just shitting all over. Shit, like almost like spraying. spraying out. Yeah. Oh my so God. that's the one thing I've heard about anal beads yeah. is that you have to go real, but you know real what, slow though? both ways. I heard that's, I heard that's super hard to do apparently and that like the idiots that are pulling them out that fast like are just dumb you know what i mean can you imagine you're gonna have the worst pink sock it like a fucking you will have the worst hemorrhoid from that i guarantee you could get a prolapse from that i don't i don't even know what that is i would look that but yeah don't <laughs> i wouldn't <laughs> google <laughs> G- prolapse let me, anus. Let me google i this. talk about it on drinking bros sometimes because i'm so fascinated with this prolapse porn that people are into really when i say people i've obviously watched it is that like collapsed buttholes so it's the whole inside do you want to look it up right now i guess we'll just get your real reaction from so look up prolapse butthole yeah either you i don't know if you'll go to like a porn site or what well it just says rectal pro (laughs) (laughs) okay so then (laughs) yeah Yes, yes, yes. So, people, <laughs> oh my God, there's a whole genre of people, pretty much with porn, right? If you can think it, yeah. people are doing it and people are into it. If, you, if, it, if it enters so your mind painful. at all. Oh my God, yeah. One of yeah. them is showing a whole fist inside this girl's so I go, I vagina go to, with like the prolapse. Yeah. Yeah. So, I asked Dan, oh I'm like, do people just, is it like oh squirting? God. Can you just do it or not do it? He's, a, he's like, no. It's an injury, Jesse. No, not, that's totally no, an that injury. that is an injury. That's not okay. It says a condition that occurs when a part of a large intestine slips outside of your anus. So don't go down this rabbit hole because it's a, it's a big rabbit hole. But they, there's people that on demand prolapse out 
on porn. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, people do things to that. That's disgusting. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what were we talking about? You know what? Oh, butt so plug funny? thing. Okay. I can, like I've killed so many like things and yeah. animals before yeah. in like survival training. But so that, if I for can some reason you me, out, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got. Oh, we, we're gonna do a whole episode of that one time. <laughs> yeah. If I can yeah. grow so you obviously up. you don't want a prolapse asshole when you do the butt no. hook plug and thing. So but I, I feel like that's gonna be extreme if you do that. Yeah. No, I think small. Start small. Yeah. So gals. The broettes talk about all kinds of stuff like this. Yes. So, gals, if you want to, any t- any tips, yeah, any, tips. Any, any pointers, any like any suggestions, we should know uh, how to start off because you know there's people out there who started off like, oh hey, like try this brand this, or this, this kind, this. yeah yeah or, yeah yeah. So, anyways, I'll take it. Um, on that note, what else? Gerbils. I had a gerbil story. Yeah. So I had a gerbil named Garbanzo, one of my first pets. And he was in like the fucking gross ass terrarium in my room, whatever. I came home one day. And my mom said that he jumped out and broke his neck. Really? He jumped out. He was a suicidal gerbil. S- suicidal gerbil. I guess it's a thing. Seizures. Apparently tarantulas, really quick, are suicidal. Are Mo- you serious? Yeah. Move on. How are they known? Because they literally just jump off things and kill themselves. Especially as pets. And they're meaning to? I mean, I know we no, can't get totally into the mind. To. Okay. Apparently they're pretty suicidal. So anyway gerbils could be like that too could be this one apparently was again i have no proof i was not there yeah. i have my mom who was like he jumped out da, da, da. i buried him don't worry i buried him uh-huh Moving i feel like on. that's such like a typical family like mother lie right you know so a couple months go by i don't know about when you were growing up uh but when i was in the freezer there's like dough and like weird stuff in the yes. door that you just never look because you're looking for popsicles or like things whatever uh-huh. so it was like slim pickings one of those slim pickings days where i was just like dude there's fucking nothing to yeah. eat it's like they have no we have food in the house we're not gonna go yeah, get something sure. and i'm like and oh what i need to like make a whole you know pizza from scratch because yeah. there's stuff to make dough or whatever and that kind of, of shit butter. that's yeah, it yeah, yeah. and yeah. like rice aroni pickles and mayonnaise yeah which is a great combo. Oh, sure. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> and margarita mix, right? That's all you have in the fridge. And as long as you're drunk, you can get anything done. Exactly. Too bad it's just the mix. There's no fucking vodka <laughs> in it. But anyway. Uh, um, so I, oh, I'm like, all right, fuck. So I take one of the bags, thinking it's just like dough or something different. Boom. Garbanzo. No way. Garbanzo in the bag. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. So now this is a little insight Why? into my family. So my mom. They raise snakes? They have snakes? No. Oh. Uh, she is a weird scientist lady so oh. she's like a doctor and but she's also like a crazy hippie lady that likes to dissect things and like we have a wall with like you know weird squirrel furs yeah. and like things in formaldehyde and what have okay. you i don't think garbanzo should have been part of this death wall your family pet my probably fa- not. my first pet ever that's gotta be scarring how old were you yeah I mean, maybe nine, oh eight or God. nine. So you saw it. I saw it. Did you like and I just scream and I drop? dropped it and it just like hit like a rock. Yeah. Frozen. Solid. And you just like, There's a hug. Mom. Hug. My mom's like, I wanted to, b- I was going to boil it and get the skeleton and put it back together. I'm just like, so if we're talking about us and like getting to know each other yeah that's just a little insight into oh my like, god well you know what my un- my aunt and uncle raised snakes no joke they had like a little okay snake that's house. very they, specific yeah, they as had well. a snake house yes yes so yes when we would always go into their fridge of course as like you know around the same age as you yeah i would see all these dead little mice like with you know like are all flat and stuck and i was always i was like oh like oh you know they're all in the fridge frozen yeah yeah was, you know my, my my mom would be like it's fine it's just their food yeah. So, and then he would have That's a ton traumatizing. of like, rat cages. Yeah. And I remember I'd go to uh, every time, every time I'd go to like pet the rats and like, I, you know, I felt bad for them. And then yeah. they'd bite me. And then I'd be like, oh, good, you are. Yeah. Hope you do <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hope you do get eaten. Dangle him in front of the thing. You're like, okay, <laughs> fine. Like, oh, yeah. And you got your taste. Yeah, rat. You got your first that's taste. That's going to be weird though. Especially like, I can only imagine like to me as a kid, I was like, oh, that sucks. Like, yeah. And I didn't even know the little rat yeah. mices. Yeah. You knew the gerbil. Yeah. To see your your family member. Yeah. Guinea pig, gerbil. 
Yeah. It's like one of those. One of those. I clearly loved well, him so much. I don't even know yeah, what he no, was. Yeah, no, it is. It's okay. We had a ton of those when we were younger. Right? They're like, like hamsters, a, guinea pigs, And I don't gerbils. think they even like, know. No, they did At didn't. the pet store, they're like, yeah, whatever. It kind of looks like. Ours would always get out and then somehow die in the house. My da- So my dad did home inspections when we were younger. Okay. And I was like a really big tomboy. Like I grew up like really outdoorsy. Sure. Um, thanks to my parents. And my, like I always would collect snakes like in the backyard, like little gardener snakes. And we would like keep them in you know the little like terrarium thing my yeah, parents yeah. bought me yeah. and then when my dad would go he would go like inspect some of these super old houses that had like swimming pools that had literally tadpoles in them yeah every time so we'd always bring home tadpoles and we'd raise them in the frogs um no joke and i love that it was cool like I it love was that. a good learning it's experience similar to my upbringing in that yeah. way where it was just like we're just in nature I weird know. stuff you bring them home we had a squirrel you know what i mean it's like whatever <laughs> yeah just random squirrels on walls and well, you stuff. Found, I found like in same, in, like in your adventure adventures, I found like a little baby squirrel, right? I probably yeah. took it from its mom. Do you know what I mean? I would, you know what? But I, so nowadays I'm seeing more and more videos of exotic pets. Yeah. Like hedgehogs. Like people have little hedgehogs. Okay. Yes. Seen them and they're yes. All like, yes. You know, so looking cute. all cute. I don't want one, but yeah. Um, the, not soft at all. We just took my no. stepdaughter to like a little petting zoo and they had a little albino hedgehog in there. And yeah. She was like, it's so soft. And I touched it and I was like, girl, what, what, what are you, you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah. Not we need to work on your <laughs> um, definition like, of okay. soft I think she stuff. thought I was in like poker. So yeah. maybe that's why. Because it wasn't spiky at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, a monkey. Like part of oh, me yes. kind of wants a monkey. Spider monkey. I've um, always wanted. But I. Like, I, don't. I don't. Know, I don't know what type of monkeys throw their own shit, but that's the kind I don't. All of them, I think. All of them. No way. Yeah. I think is it like, like a dominance like, thing? Like I think it's a, a trait of the. Uh, is it? <laughs> yeah. And it's funny to hear that some people think we come from monkeys. Humans don't do that, do they? <laughs> oh, but when drunken, drunken, or when people start to lose their mind, right? Oh. When they start to like revert back to this like psychotic, like crazy state, right? Then they throw their. They own. start. Shit is a big part of their. I mean, the no. wiping on the okay. walls and like yeah. throwing it. Pe- right? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've heard. Interesting. Similar. I think we're touching on something but, here. Like we, but we kind of start off like that as babies too, because I remember my young brother. Oh, like my we kid. walked into the this room with like a poo a poo merle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a poop merle. A poop merle. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Are you All saying merle? Mural. Okay. I can't listen. P- you already poop- know I say things weird. Yeah, Mur- I know. Mural. It's gonna be a fun thing um, for the I'm show. I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Missouri. Right. And that's you know, no excuse, but people, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> well, we know already. No, the, you don't the say Southern people weird. love to marry, like love to marry their cousins, and they use as an excuse oh, absolutely. being Southern. So I think I can use as an excuse. Yeah, as yeah, yeah. Why. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think how we're dare you? I think we're LA. fighting. Uh, First fight. <laughs> No. Go ahead. <laughs> so people will be like, you know, Missouri. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong. And my mom says Washington. I had to get out of that habit for but the longest time. That's kind of cute. Yeah, she's like, hey, I'm gonna go wash the clothes. Like, how's Washington Gosh, State? But I love that. She's cute though. Yeah. But now, as as me as an instructor, people look at me like, really? Excuse me. You're <laughs> supposed to be. You sound dumb. You don't. <laughs> you don't. You're just from the Midwest. It's cute if you like me. If you don't like me, then it's annoying, probably. Do a lot of people not like you? No, I think for the most part, people do like me. Right? But you know what I think, though? Well, I've been seeing some stuff on your Instagram, like, I don't know if you had a thing, like, bitches be getting crazy or something sometimes. You know what? It happens. I know it oh, happens. Oh, sure. You know how social media can be crazy. Absolutely. So I'm just wondering. There's, you are very positive, but. That's, that's, well, that's my biggest thing, is I yeah. try to be positive. I hate it. I end up disliking Facebook so much because it became such a negative Nancy, like, pot of just got bitchy nonstop yeah, yeah and it was just negativity and politics and like just bitch at each other and if yep. you don't agree with me fuck you and i couldn't stand that anymore so that's why a couple years ago i went to instagram yeah and it's just easier yeah and it was easier your, it's somehow the platform it's it's very hard for people to be negative on there like yes, if someone but puts they're a comment, finding more of a way to do oh, it oh they will but oh, i find that probably people will jump on them Give them shit. Do you oh, know yeah, what I mean? Sure. If they see a comment on there, people will just fucking light them up. They do. On but the your thing, thing is, is like, I also luckily, like, I mean, I ended up starting like a new page. I had a large page and I ended up starting a new one because of uh, Nigerian scammers trying to steal my pictures and sure. scam people for money. So Bragging. But, Brag. No, just, <laughs> no, 
<laughs> no, I'm they do it with anyone. <laughs> Believe I'm me. Joking. They literally do it with any military. It's a military. They yeah, use yeah, the yeah. military card, right? Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. they're saying like, hey, I'm deployed and I have like a kid at home. I can't afford childcare or right. like, I'm like these middle-aged men who of course they go for like the oldest dudes who like, no offense to them, you know, yeah. but they're all single for a reason. Yeah. yeah. And they think that this really cute girl is flirting with them or even just an average girl flirting with them. And then they send them money. Right. And so yeah, I had yeah, to get yeah. away from that. Got it. Got it. Um, but my followers, for the most part, are pretty positive, too. Like, and I am the type of person where I know someone's trying to be an asshole and just make a stupid comment. I just block them. Yeah. Like my block buttons, like my fingers strong. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. why Smart. engage? Because that's what they want. Right. And yeah. so by the time someone even responds anyway, it's gone. Well, that's why I was fascinated with you. And I wanted maybe some of your just like positivity and confidence mm -hmm. could rub off on me because I have, you know, I'm just have a healthy, um, you know, crippling sense of self-doubt and, and security. And so, no. yeah, 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 all the time. And I, I wanted to say, too, I wanted to say, too, to anybody that wants to like talk shit, like anything that you can say about us, we've already thought about oh, ourselves, ourselves oh easily a million times if long. i look fat or if what you know what i mean whatever you want to say hairline. sure whatever you want to say yeah we've heard it we've thought it we've thought it so you could go ahead but like don't think that there's anything that you could say about us that we haven't thought a million times already you know what though we are our own worst critics, the worst especially females absolutely we so that's why i was bad. wondering like because you're again so positive on there so confident I'm pretty honest though too. Like yeah. I'll, I, I will have, I will post stuff about my struggles or areas where, you know, I'm lacking in like empathy. Like I really suck at being empathetic sometimes or just times where I've had hard problems in life. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be honest with those things. Um, I don't mind being open with them, but I'm only open to an extent and I'm pretty open on there. And then when people try to dig deeper and I'm not willing to open up yet about certain things and I'll just politely say like, no, I don't, you yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. appreciate it, but I'm just, yeah, I'll say what I want Correct. to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the most part, I'll sit there and be like, listen, like I will talk from experience because I have fucked up so yeah, yeah, many yeah. times and people are like, oh my God, how do you know these things? I'm like, because I'm a fuck up. Yeah. That's why. Like I screw up That's all the time. That's how I learned most of the things, like any advice I can give oh, yeah. to anyone is because I have pretty much screwed up with anything, everything that you can screw mm -hmm. up with at least once, right? Oh yeah relationships had many God. horrible I, ones i'm really bad learned. about those right yeah do you have any funny horrible dating uh exes uh one time anything i would have to think about that i do remember and this is a thing that i will credit my parents because you know how you grew up being told so many different things like pounding into your head by your parents to do i can um, imagine don't talk with your mouth like don't talk when you have food in your mouth mm -hmm. right um so that was like the biggest one and like don't go like burping at the dinner table yeah yeah, yeah. and stuff like that because i remember we'd always do that and my parents would be like that's super rude and yeah. one day you're gonna be taken out on a date and you're gonna do that so it was my first date kind of technically in college right and uh i remember his name trey and he was super what cute. Up, Trey? Trey. Yeah. and uh he takes me out to a nice dinner like he was one of the nice dudes in college and of course, I didn't end up going for him because he was an. Uh, of course, I'm an idiot, and oh, I went for all no, the dickheads. No, because you're normal. And uh, so he took me out to a nice dinner, and we were drinking. I was finally, you know, actually, I don't even. I think I had a fake idea at the time, so I was drinking. Yeah. And I I did a little burp, but I like tried to cover it up, but it kind of came out, and we both start laughing. Yeah. Um, and he was just laughing at me, like kind of with me, because we thought it was really funny and kind of cute. Yeah, I'm hoping. And I took like some bread, and I like, I was like, hum, and food just jetted out <laughs> onto the middle of the table. Because you were laughing, and because like, I was laughing, and then decided to talk with food in my mouth. Yeah, all the like, shit my parents told me not to do. Yeah, yeah. And just went, and he just went. <laughs> I kept laughing. I was like, oh, thank God, he's the ghoul. He's so cool. And uh, yeah, after that, I didn't decide to date him anymore. I don't know why. Cause I'm yeah, because yeah, because we don't go for the nice guys, which no. is the at a certain point, like you yeah. get older and you go. No, like, I God had to realize damn that it. later. Like, on. yeah, you, I fuck? really learned that lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you have a nice. guy That was right embarrassing now. for me. But yeah, there's definitely ones. There. Well, there's a funny one. Okay, Please. so it involves my mom. Please. <laughs> Please. 
<laughs> Those are always the best, most it horrifying stories. Okay, so I'm divorced. Okay? okay, so if you guys don't know, I'm divorced. We can talk about that later. Sure. Um, it was a very short-lived marriage, needless to say, which we can go into much later. Uh, sure. We've got plenty of episodes. Plenty. But <laughs> so I'm on Tinder. Okay. This is like early 2014. Oh, yeah, you got it. California. On... This is when Tinder's kind of new. And this was uh, before Tinder was more so known as like Tinder. a hookup yeah. app, right? Yeah. Whereas like legit people really did go on dates yeah. with them. So this is like my second or third time, like kind of looking on Tinder, second or third date. And my mom and I are down in San Diego, which is about like three hours away from where I lived. And I'm taking her just to view San Diego and we're having like a good old girl's time. Sure. And we're at the zoo. <laughs> Right, I took her. She wanted to go to zoo. Like mom and daughter, Moms. like we're best friends. So Moms. she's like, "This is great." And it was free. Yeah. And so she sees me on Tinder, and she's like, "What's this?" And so I start explaining. You know, it's really great because I was superficial, and I was yeah, like, "You yeah. can just look at dudes look and be like, you're hot, you're not. Yeah. yeah. And so she helped me. She was like, "Oh no, oh no, no, no." Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? So fun when and you can help fun. someone else. Yeah. And so we ended up swiping on this dude. Very attractive guy. Like, apparently, he was, like, a model actor, right? Okay. Of course, it's, it's you know, uh, around L.A., California. Yeah. So, we expect it. And he hits me up. And he was like, hey, um, you want to hang out tonight? And I was like, actually, I'm in town with my mom, so I can't. But maybe next time I come down to San Diego. So, I take my mom to Pacific Beach Shore Club. Like, after we go to dinner, I take her out for some drinks. And she, my mom gets some vodka Rebel slushies in her system. Oopsie and us daisy. girls in my family love vodka. Okay. So like we are this white girl wasted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's like dancing. Not and to brag. Yeah. And uh, she goes, let's meet up with that dude off Tinder. Stop. No joke. And I was like, really? She's like, text him, text him back. Let's meet up with him. And I was like, okay. So I always joke. I'm like, my mom went on a Tinder date with me. So we meet him at a hole in the wall bar. And you told him your mom was going to be there. Yep. He He's knew. For he it. was all for it. Keeper. Because he was like, cool. My buddy's going to be there. I'm like, that's not. Oh, my God. No, my mom's married. Like, it's not like that. Cool. My buddy's going to be there. I know. He's into older my gals. My mom is the cutest drunk, like, ever. She's so much fun. Um, So we get there, and we play foosball against them. And we, like, whip their ass. My mom's like. In your face! What? Like, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, it's sorry. a great It was way. really funny. You should bring your well, mom always. I know, I need yeah. to. She goes, um, you lose, so you owe me a kiss. <laughs> he gave her, like, a kiss on the cheek. And the guy was like, I gave your mom a kiss before you. And I was like, it's fine. Like, <laughs> Did that work out? What a cool guy. Oh, no, I'll tell you a little bit later on. But she was really cute. So he, she found out he was in the Coast Guard. Okay. Okay. And he was like bragging that he was like some rescue swimmer. And my mom, like in her drunken stupor, was like, Well, my daughter's a serious specialist. The sheep jumps out of planes for a living and you aren't shit. Like, okay. And I was like, mom. So your mom ruined it. Like, no, Full circle. No, she didn't ruin it. Oh, okay. He was like more turned on, I guess. So we went back to his place. Right. Me, him, and my mom. And like, yep. He took us like up on the patio, like overlooking the city. And my mom was like, Hey, I'm gonna leave you two alone. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, yeah, because I was weird. Like, this is super weird. Inter- and she was there. And I'm very respectful of my parents. So, yeah, you're not I was gonna like, like, no. He yeah, kissed mom me. Leave. Yeah. You know, and like, I kissed him. And then afterwards, mom, we were excited to go on another date. And he became psycho controlling. What? Oh, yeah. Just what like, happened? He uh, through text, or did you ever see him again? Through text, over the phone. Oh, like, I've had full relationships from beginning to end. Like on I was, text. yeah, I was driving to go see him, and like he was like, "Where are you at? What are you doing?" Like, just went crazy. And, I was like, "Why aren't you here?" Like, just being oh, a fucking yeah. dick. And oh, and the shit. thing is, too, is I was driving down to him. You know, like dick. three hours down to him. So, anyways, it was like a a little bit of a time dealing with that, realizing that he has issues, and that I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to. Um, I don't think we're going to see each other anymore. And then he just like psycho called and texted nonstop for like nonstop. So I had to block his number. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. That escalated quickly. It was really From like quick. being cool with the mom no, to no, like well, he's going like to fucking kill you. Weeks later. But yeah. Oh yeah. He went into that. Isn't that crazy? I know. So that's why I want like, you know how like some people are really cool when they're drunk, but could be like kind of psycho and overthink things when they're sober. Possibly. Yes. That could have been him. I don't know. Because he was I do cool know when he was drunk. Few. I do know a few. So. 
cool yeah. when he's drunk. Yeah. So he has to always be drinking. Yeah, that we'll kind of we'll we'll call that a red flag. That would yeah, I would that's say that's what a we red call flag. in the biz a red flag. Yeah, those he's <laughs> only cool when, when he's drinks. drunks. <laughs> and then when he's Have sober, you heard he's people fucking say that psycho. People, oh, yeah, no. Oh, people all the time will be like, dude, I'm like I have to drink when I go out. Oh, because I just better. need to like I need loosen, loosen up, up and and you're like, oh well, you have I fucking like, problems. Then, I have dude. more fun. I feel like I can let my personality loose. Mm. I'll be honest, there was like a year or two in my life that I thought I had to do that. Oh, for when sure. When I first joined, like when I first joined, and yeah, I was like, trying and to we fit grow in with up, the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I thought the only way that I could really fit in with the guys and like not care about the shit talking or like all the the extra noise was if I just drank. Yeah, you know, I mean, and, like drank, not like gray out but black black out dude every time right because i will say here's another thing that girls can't do as good as guys unfortunately i'm sorry but drink yeah hard liquor yeah the way we metabolize it it's terrible it's terrible so you're like yeah shots and then they're still taking shots and you're under the fucking bar like well unless you build up your tolerance but still even then even if you and the same dude did the same thing to build up your tolerance they still have a better tolerance than you yeah, there and are so many girls, times I tried to drink the same as my dudes, my buddies. Oh no! Oh no! It's you can't do it. No. Pro tip: Don't try and do it. Yeah. You will always I even wish you were told even me that if ten years ago. <laughs> even if guys right do the same thing that you do, which is like blackout, pass out, mm-hmm. and puke on themselves, they're a hero, legend. No, yeah, and we and are you just... will be a drunken mess. They'll never want to talk to you again. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it, the true. double that's standard ter- is terrible double standard. so shitty. Well, there's so, so it's many like double standards. just exactly. But we yeah, have plenty of episodes cool, to get into that. But it's and learning that is a hard, hard lesson to yeah, learn. But like is. you have to be able to hang out without trying to match what they do. Yeah. Always let them be the ridiculous one. Absolutely. Also to keep yourself fucking safe. How many times if you have to count on a man I know. To make sure you get, get home, home. Oh, nope. make sure you get back into your bed, make sure you like the cab driver knows if you need to count on them and you are so blackout. That's not no, that's the, that could be an issue. I've seen that be issues dude, before. Yeah, I had a guy it, and I, I remember he brought me back to my room. Like, you know, he was a guy I worked with. I know. He, I know he had a crush on me later on. Sure. So that like that brought up a little bit question in my head you know so i yeah you're like when i woke up i was in like a t-shirt and my underwear like obviously he wasn't in there and stuff but i i remember later on i asked him like hey how did i like hey how did i get my pants off real quick and yeah he was like oh like i helped you out i figured that you want and i'm like okay like just uh, appreciate it if he wasn't a creepist then i'm sure he really did do that it's not like he thought i mean i ended up dating him later (laughs) calm down i mean you have to help you buried the lead so you you dated him. He's a guy you I dated. dated he later. for sure touched you. Yeah. Later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Did I, he ever tell you? Uh, what no, happened? he didn't. Oh, he really okay. didn't. He was he was very respectful in that manner. So, I think he probably but, didn't do anything that night. I'd like to believe, right? No, I like to believe that yeah, too. Yeah, but yeah. what I'm saying is, I put myself in that situation. You never know. Yeah. And yeah, what I learned is that I am good. So if I drink one thing about like one type of alcohol whether one. it's just like one thing of alcohol <laughs> if i just really drink one alcohol, fifth, yeah. just one fifth just um, one thing if i drink alcohol. one type of alcohol and that's it for the whole night like not mix because i used to drink long islands all the time i used to drink oh, irish trash cans all the time remember and do fucking uh what's, what's an a- irish trash can oh my god quick? an irish trash can is worse than a long island it has like the same amount of like all the the fucked up liquors in it. Liquors, sure it's like a Jameson and a, a thing, blue like, Carico uh, thing in it, and then they put an entire can of Red Bull in it. So as you drink it, the Red Bull just empties out oh, into it. Oh, 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 okay. Dude, there was one, and it's massive. There was one night I drank like ten of those. There was no way that you were able to. No, even I didn't be- function. I puked it down my car into the window. Right. Yeah. Your car? Were you driving? No, my buddy drove my oh, car. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Never. No, my buddy drove my car. Got it. But, like, I remember <laughs> I just rolled down the window slightly and, like, just puked. And it, like, we rolled it back up. And I think they rolled it back down or uh. something. And it got all in there. And I was like, this is going to be fun. And, again, at a certain age, we can kind of do those things, still hang out with our buddies, blah, sure. blah, blah. Well, I was super young then still exactly. the time. Like, I was, like, 21, 22. So, in the pro tip. 20 I was 22 doesn't really apply i mean you're still cute sure when you're older and doing not that not cute anymore not cute, not cute. No. so we're expected especially women oh yeah are expected at a certain age to be able to hold your shit well, right even at our age especially 
And you know what? I'm sure you being a mother, I can only imagine the judgment sometimes that you would probably get like, oh, if yeah. you went out and had fun and then be like, oh, yeah. but you're a mom. I can't exactly. believe your mom would do that. Exactly. Thankfully, I don't really care about that. Yeah. Um, Because I'm just, I'll, I'll just go out. And Not that much, you know? Yeah. But if I go, if I go hard, I fucking deserve it. Yeah. Oh, I'm a I agree. I'm fucking mom of well, two night, boys. When we went out, I was so disappointed. I Ross know. Was like, well, I'm so bringing her I home. Did. No, I know, I know. I'm bringing her home. So was I. I was like, we were no. like this in the bar. We're like, no. <laughs> like, please don't. I know. Because I, I, kept kept I kept feeding you wine. I know. You're like, here you go. And you're like, I was like, here, drink another one. Here, drink another one. I know. And then I'm pissed this time because you have to go, whatever. But we're going to have plenty of party videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to It's going to be great. And again, if we drink on the show, people love drunk girls talking, don't they? Oh, yeah. Isn't it the most fun? <laughs> so- <laughs> Until you start slurring your words. I, know, I love and you, you dude. dude. Shit. Dude, you are so pretty to me. Right? That's a, I think so that's fun. probably one of my biggest problems is I probably mumble a lot when I drink more. Oh, okay. So I'll be like, So we'll have to, really? A nun. C8. Yeah. Um, we'll I wonder, I think I need to save my nature pimp story for the next show. Pro- oh, for sure. So we'll just get into that. that. And yeah. I'm sure you can think of other weird things like you going on a Tinder date with your mom <laughs> and the guy turning into a fucking stalker psycho. psycho. You know what's going to be funny is if any of these people listen and they're going to be like, oh, that was me. I know, which is the <laughs> most fun. It's the most Wait, fun because we won't say me? names. You said, you said the first date which is so cute oh, but, Trey, but we didn't say didn't, the name yeah. of stalker crazy no, guy i don't remember his name you're just but, gonna have to yeah, figure no, it I out Trey. yeah cutie cute no that's cute cutie that's cute, cute. we can say that yeah. name um but now is the point in the show when we do the drinking bro of yeah. the week and i would like you to do it this time and just tell me somebody anyone literally any woman girl that has helped you along the way or that you look up to or that, you know, is a huge whatever. Yeah. Huge I, part of your who you are. The traditional one, at least for me, that I'm sure like a lot of women have in their life is their mom. Right. You'd actually be surprised. surprised. Really? Yeah. So well, I will say this. My mom and I didn't grow up very close initially. OK. I, I grew up in a very strict household. I felt like she was the hardest on me. Yeah um definitely got the brunt of you know the anger and the just just of dis- totally the stress sometimes but as i got older they really i'm very independent and i'm very who i am with no apologies and they really started accepting that a lot more especially my mom um and so i was one of the first you know people in my family to go into the military yeah especially even my extended family and my mom is very opinionated and she she didn't want me to and instead of just her saying, no, you're not going to do that, which is what they've done in the past. She did one of these things where like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to hold my tongue and I'm going to go with you. Right. I'm just going to go to the recruiting office and see what Perfect. this is all about. And she didn't say anything. She asked some questions. I remember we went out to eat after. I told her I wanted to do Sear, how hard it was going to be um, after all that. And she saw a fire lit in me. Like she yeah. saw I had my passion back because I lost it when I went to college. And she saw that I was wanting to do something that I loved. And she... She was like, you know what? I'm going to encourage this. She's like, even though I'm scared and I, like, I don't want to lose you and you're going to be gone. Yeah. And I don't know if I'm, you know, when I'll see you again, I, I encourage this 100%. And they actually even Good bought me job, a personal mom. trainer. My mom bought me a personal trainer for Christmas so I can work on my pull-ups and my push-ups because I had to get upper body strength. And I'm telling you right now, like, she is now my best friend. She wasn't when I was younger, but she's sure. now my best friend where, like, any single moment that... Like, I wanted to break, like, I was breaking down because of, you know, all the shit talking that I was going through. Yeah. Or just the pressure I was getting put under. Or the, the you know, the magnifying glass I was under constantly. Like, yeah. She was always there to be like, you got this. I believe in you. I love you. Like, I'm praying for you. Like, all the time. Good job, You know what Mom. I mean? What's so, her like, name? What's Trace. her name? Trace. Trace. Yeah. She's got a French Trace name. Trace Hart? No. Trace Zolodek. Yeah. Well, Good call, job, we're going to call her Miss Z. Miss Z. She's awesome. So She sounds like she's doing it she's right. She's still my best friend to this day. I love it. And so I appreciate that, you know. And that's what it's about. So girls, if you want to go into, or guys. Yeah. Girls are guys. We're going to be in Drinking Bros and Drinking bro- Broettes. But um, if you guys want to nominate Drinking Broettes Ed. of the week, we will need a stack of that so we can talk about you guys 
and your accomplishments mm-hmm. and why people in the community are amazing. And we do want to say we are so excited yeah. to be starting this in this community because I have never met more genuine people, uh, been helped more. Like if you put out there in the Drinking Bros group, it's a private group, but you can join. If you put out there that you need anything, if you need a lawyer. I saw that. You need. They're there I on mean, the quick for them. Yeah. Change a tire. You got some nails in your tire. Yeah. If you need a better Airbnb. I mean, literally anything you need, there will be someone will, that will at least try mm-hmm. and help you, whether they it. can get there or help you. And it's it feels so good. And uh, we're excited. We hope to be a good voice, mm-hmm. other side of the voice. And guys, 94%. Guys, we're here for the 6%, but look. Hey, we're here for you, too. I mean. Come on over. Listen, relationship advice. We're, butt plug we stuff. St- butt plug stuff. Prolapse. You guys seeing- ask all the time on that Drinking Bros <laughs> Facebook page about relationship advice. We can go hours oh, about that. Dude, we can help I've you guys been out. with every type of drummer. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I've been with an alcoholic drummer. I've been with a Just drummer. Just rolling time at all. <laughs> yeah. Drummers. I got you covered. And by the way, stay away from them. Stay away from drummers. Okay, those Just are the ones the I typically like too, or the lead singers. Yep, of course you do. Stay yeah. away. <laughs> Stay away, Tiffany. Well, good thing I'm married All now. Right. So yeah, this was so fun. It I'm was. so looking forward to this whole endeavor Me with too. you. This will be great. And uh, from Tiffany Hart, where can they find you? By the way, let's start that. Just look up uh, the real Tiffany Hart on Instagram. And so stay funny, tuned. by the way. Stay tuned for some more stuff later on. Super funny. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're hilarious Thank and you. super positive. Oh, TikTok and really... now too is a big thing. Are you doing it? I'm starting to do Who it. Who are you? So the Tiffany Hart. I love Who it. Who do you think you are? It's do you love it? A... Yeah. All right, fine. We'll do know, some I'm TikTok weirdo. stuff. And I'm um, Jesse Wiseman on all the bullshits. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty much only on Instagram, but I'm trying to get more over to Facebook, although I hate it. So yeah. get me on Instagram and I may be some TikTok, although... We're going to get her on some TikToks. Okay. <laughs> get, her, get me on some TikToks. Okay, you guys. Um, like I said, we're uh, Tiffany Hart and Jesse Wise. Yeah. We love you guys. Sign Good night. Out. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on. Every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes.